almost every neat aspirant reads biology and crt but almost a few use it the way the toppers do initially when i was preparing for neat examination till my first drop year attempt i was doing it the wrong way i was rereading ncrt chapters hoping that it will magically stick but you know what it didn't stick biology ncrt does not always just sticks to your brain you need to work on that what finally worked and what works for every high scorer in neat biology is annotation and today in this video i'm going to tell you all how to annotate your biology ncrt so well that revising it feels very natural feels very doable and scoring 360 becomes very realistic So first of all why most students fail at revising biology and CRT so first of all most of the students are reading NCERT just like stories just like paragraph and paragraph not with, without even thinking number 2 is most of the students highlight literally every part of the NCERT book number 3 is most people don't even study biology from NCERT they almost always follow the coaching material that's a very very big trap Number four, they don't actually practice enough questions to understand what is act that is getting asked in the examination, and that's where the annotation becomes a complete game changer. So now coming to the annotation method. So number first step is understanding the concept. So without actually touching the biology and CRT, first go and understand the concept. It can be from anywhere, from any YouTube video, from any lecture, from any teacher, from any coaching material. Just go and understand the concept fully because NCERT is a very concise book. Everything is summarized in it, so you need to so you need to know the in depth understanding of that concept. If it is a conceptual topic, your source of understanding does not matter. It's just simple. You just need to understand the concept from any. You can understand the concept from anywhere. The source does not matter. Number two is practicing a lot of questions. So now this is where the most people gets wrong. They don't practice enough question to know what actually gets asked and to know what actually is not asked in the examination they just either start annotating their ncert or they just start reading the ncert without without knowing what is asked and what is not asked in the examination so it is very important that you solve a lot of a lot of questions it may be from any coaching material it may be from any test paper it may be from any question bank but you need to solve a lot of questions because when you solve a lot of questions you get first of all deeper understanding of the concept you remember more and and thirdly that is most important is you know actually what is asked again and again in the examination rather than just flooding your ncert with every every information that is not asked in the examination hall so practice a lot of questions before annotating your ncert now step 3 is start annotating your ncert now how you have to annotate your ncert is use the white space that is given in the ncert book itself and in this white space write down the explanation that is not given in the ncert book the tricky points that your question bank the tricky points that the coaching institutes repeatedly ask the pyqs that are not given in the ncert book the questions that are generally twisted and not direct lines from the ncert book some additional facts that are not given in the rt book and it helps you understand the concept in a better way some corrections or some clarifications to help you understand each and every line or some mnemonics that you have made for yourself you can also write down the questions that are repeatedly asked and you get those questions wrong in the in the mock test and with this you turn your ncrt into your personalized annotated biology ncrt and you know this is what the toppers do they just annotate their ncrt very well you can also some extra pages if required but always remember do not flood your ncert with with non important unnecessary information only add the things that are asked in the exam and do not rewrite the whole chapter why does this book helps a lot is that now this annotated biology ncert contains your coaching material ncert and extra questions that you get wrong and all of this combined in just one book and you know with this you increase your number of revisions and you know when neat is very near your number of revisions matter a lot and when you have compiled everything in in just one book you revise everything faster and your number of revisions in, increase which is the very single thing that is the most important to get you closer to your selection and with this you stop forgetting the small tiny facts again and again because you're revising it multiple times and when you revise everything multiple times your marks will automatically increase because you have literally compiled everything in just one book so no matter what coaching institute question paper you give or any question paper under the sun that you give for neat examination your ncert will have everything that that could be asked in the examination and if your marks will increase your confidence will go at another level you will finally have the book that will feel complete and now the last step that comes is active recall even when you have annotated your ncert just close your book and try to recall everything the diagrams the explanation the questions that you have added 
the ncrt lines the paragraphs that are given in the ncrt book and then open your books and check what you missed whatever you missed repeatedly just highlight that part because the next time that you come for revision of that chapter you actually know what you missed last time and and that part will definitely stick to your brain and this active recall will be very very helpful in your main day examination because on the main day examination you will actually be recalling everything that you studied during your journey so just practice this active recall a lot a lot of times and the more times that you practice your exam day becomes easier so at the end of this video i would like to tell you that scare, don't let people scare you with the 10 different strategies or 20 different books that they are studying you can solve questions from various books but for theory stick to ncrt no matter what because biology ncrt is literally your bible feeling lost feeling confused feeling left behind is very normal when you are a neat aspirant because everyone whoever has cracked this examination feeling this way is very normal every topper that you admire today has felt this way but you know the only difference that comes is they don't stop they find solutions to the problem and they keep on moving forward do one thing at a time but keep moving forward no matter what and if you're interested you can join my one on one mentorship program where i share various strategies tips tricks and hacks and various revision schedule based on your strengths and your weaknesses and and you get an accountability partner that is me myself so if you're interested go and message me directly on my whatsapp number the whatsapp number and the further details for the mentorship are given in the pinned comment and also in the description box and if you found this video useful do not forget to hit that subscribe button